Now, Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. We've had kind of a wild start to the month of April, and it doesn't show any signs of stopping. Take a look at our weather headlines over the next few days. The howling winds will back off a little bit tomorrow. We'll cancel that wind advisory at midnight tonight. It'll still be breezy for the next couple of days, and we have a quick round of showers for tomorrow, and then up and down temperatures all the way through next week. That's about how long it will take for things to kind of normalize a little bit. So let's get to the wind first. Here's been the picture for the last hour. These are the gusts recorded uh, actually from the past 24 hours. A 50 56 mile per hour gust in Twin Falls today. You can see the gust getting a little bit lighter as you head out towards the Treasure Valley, but still it was really a hold on to your car door carefully kind of day, right? And as far as tomorrow goes, we will still keep those northwesterly winds in play. We're talking 10 to 20 mile per hour sustained winds, but it's those extreme gusts that will really back off tomorrow. And then we also have those scattered showers. You can see just little pop up showers, maybe around in Boise around noon, another round later in the afternoon. This won't be a downpour type of Event, but you may be dodging a few raindrops off and on tomorrow. Now, the temperatures, it really looks like a roller coaster ride, does it not? We take off a little bit heading into Saturday, and then we drop quickly on Sunday with another round of rain to end the weekend, and then we start a nice little climb to well above average conditions by the end of next week. We may see highs back up near 70 degrees again, so hang in there. There's hope on the horizon, but we have some wild weather to get through first. So that wind advisory in place through midnight tonight. Then we have some flooding concerns, of course, up in our mountain locations. We've been talking about it now for several days. So flood watches in effect for the east central mountains, stretching all the way over into southeastern Idaho. And then we also have a flood warning, which is a step up from a flood watch for Adams County. We're seeing uh, rivers and creeks and streams really spilling their banks and creating some problems there. So if you're headed to the high country in the next couple of days or if you live there, just plan on some water covered roadways creating issues if you are out and about. Not much rain or precipitation at all across the state right now. A few little spotty showers still popping up in eastern Idaho. But look as we pull this view out. Look at the situation across the midsection of the country. The low pressure system, the cold front that rolled through our neck of the woods yesterday is creating a mess across Colorado. Look at the winds in Albuquerque and in the panhandle of Texas. We're talking 60 plus mile per hour wind gusts, freezing rain up to a quarter inch thick in South Dakota. And we're talking blizzard conditions expected in certain areas over the next 24 to 48 hours. It is a crazy situation setting up for them. Here's what's going to send scattered showers our way tomorrow, and then this is the weather maker for the weekend. We'll see a cold front come through on Sunday. Like I mentioned, that will really drop those temperatures and bring another round of rain back in. Now tomorrow, not a big rain event, but again, scattered showers possible across the region. Still that brisk northwesterly wind and temperatures well below average, only touching 53 in Boise, 57 degrees expected in Ontario tomorrow. As far as the mountains go, we are we're talking about uh, the possibility of some snow in the morning. Nothing major, but maybe an inch or so above 5,500 feet. We'll see temperatures at 46 for Idaho City, right around 40. The high temperature in the Long Valley starting off well below freezing. So we may see a light little dusting of snow in places like McCall, Donnelly and Cascade. A few snow showers possible in Stanley to start the day tomorrow. Sun Valley, a slimmer chance of precipitation. Highs in the mid 40s for the Wood River Valley tomorrow. Magic Valley, you still have a lot of wind ahead of you tomorrow and cool temperatures 52 degrees with a sprinkle possible in Twin Falls. Extended forecast shows those temperatures climbing a little bit on Friday. Saturday looking good, Don. 61 degrees, but that's that warm sector before the bottom drops out again on Sunday. Some scattered showers Sunday. Still cool Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday next week. Finally, we start that climb back to normal.